Hello, I am Vikram with IBM Curata team and in this video, we will cover how to investigate event and flow parameters in Curata. Let us now go to our Curata box. Here, I am on the Offense tab. I will now click on any of the offense. I have selected an offense with ID 525. So once I double click it, it will open the offense where it will show the details relevances. As we can see, it has an offense ID of 525. It has a magnitude which is calculated and calibrated by Curator. It has relevance value, severity value, and credibility set. Now these values can be set by Curator itself using its own logic. It would give us the domain associated with this offense. And here, if we can click on the events that has contributed to this offense. You can also click over here or hyperlink over here wherein it will open the number of events that are being attached to that offense. As we saw, it was around 82 events that are being attached to that particular offense. Now, we will be investigating these events to check the values and the metadata associated with those. So all these 82 events will be available as we click or the search is getting executed. Here, if you see, there's an icon, red icon, which indicates that these events have been attached to an offense. Apart from this, we see event name, log sources, the time of that event for which the offense or the event was generated. Double click any of the event and it will open an events details page wherein information would be brought for any SOC analyst to analyze and decide more about that offense and that event. If we see over here, we have an event name, the low level category of the event, event description, which can either be curator generated or it can be the values as per set in your rules wizard. The relevance, severity, and credibility values, the magnitude, username that is in present in the payload of this event. Next, we have start time, storage time, and log source time. Now, these values, if you see, there are three different times that Curator has highlighted. But what are these values? The start time is the event record that represent the time at which Curator appliance starts to parse an event. So whenever an event arrives in the event pipeline, an object is created in memory. Then the start time is set to that time. The storage time is the time when the data is written out to disk by the aerial writer to the aerial DB. So if we review the time, storage time and start time, it would give us an idea about the pipeline health. So here, fortunately, the storage time and the start time is same, which indicates that events were parsed immediately and were written to disk at the same time, which is an indicator of good performance. Had there been a delay between storage time and start time for n number of minutes, it would be an indication of a performance issue, which could have been resulted due to IO issues or partition unavailable issues, license issues, or general performance issues of the events being passed and getting returned to disk. Similarly, we have the source IP and the destination IPs associated with this event. This can help us or a SOC analyst to identify the threat actors. Apart from it, it has brings us or parses the MAC addresses of the source and destination IPs. Here we have the payload information. So log source time is nothing but the time that is present or parsed directly from the payload. Hence, it may be different from your source time and the storage time. Apart from it, it brings us other details such as the protocol, the log source, custom rules which were fully matched by this event, and then the partially matched rules. Now what this partially matched rules means? This means the rules that have matched the threshold. Suppose example, uh, for example, if you have a rule which says five events of same categories have seen in five minutes. And suppose this event was the third event. So this 
hasn't matched the threshold of 5 yet. But apart from that threshold, rest all values have been matched. So all such rules will be highlighted in the custom rules partially matched section. Apart from that, we have the QID, which uniquely identifies the event. The annotations that are associated with this event, the event collector name, the collector ID, the event ID, and at the below section, we have the identity information that this event may bring in. All these informations can be used by any SOC analyst to determine whether the office that was generated is benign or malicious or to perform any threat hunt in his system. Similar to events, we have flows in QRadar. We can click on the network activity tab and select any flow to investigate. So let me select the first flow from the network activity tab. Flows details are somewhat similar to that of an event details. So it might bring us with the same similar data, but there are some parameters which are different from that of event. So the protocol TCP IP, the application name which it has brought in, the magnitude, relevance, severity, credibility values, the first packet time and the last packet time which can again indicate the health of the flow pipeline. First packet time and last packet time signifies how long a session lasted. The storage time is picked up from the payload. Apart from this, if you see over here, these are the CEPs that are created and NA shows that there are no matching CEPs or content in the payload of the flow. Apart from it, it brings us the data such as accumulated destination byte and the metadata, the source IPs and the destination IP in which the flow is occurring, the payload sizes and the source payloads. Now these payloads can be in UTF, hex, base, 64 format and hence somewhat unreadable or understandable to users. Apart from this, the custom rules are the set of rules for which the flow has completely matched. A flow type, which is standard flow in our case. Flow direction, L2L, which is local to local. In some cases, it may be L2R, which may be local to remote. R2R, which is remote to remote. So these directions are indications of where the traffic is actually flowing. The flow interface, which has captured this flow. And then the custom rules partially match, which is similar to that in case of events, wherein the threshold values are matched, but not the uh, where the threshold values are not completely matched, but the rule has been matched completely apart from the threshold values. So in this way, we investigate about the rules and the offenses that are generated and the associated events and flows associated with those offenses. Thank you for joining us. If you need more assistance, use the links in the description.